good this thing is on. So, I've got a new camera, and uh, I'm not sure you can see me properly there, so let's just move that up a little bit. i um, got the new camera, which records in 1080p, 50 frames per second, and I thought I'd do a video. As you can see, fairly limited to what I can do. Uh, <laughs> I got hit by a bus on my bike. Well, I say hit, that's a rough thing. Sorry, there's going to be lots of cars in the background. Um, I was riding, it was raining, I've got racing tyres, and a bus overtook me, clipped me, and I went wee, and my shoulder went again. And I've got a nice big bruise on my, um, my ass and hip. So today I thought I'd do a video, show and tell video. I'm not normally, I never used to think I was a nostalgic man, but I tend to keep little bits and pieces. And I thought I'd just kind of go through them. I've got some odd bits and pieces in here. Um, things that mean a lot to me, things that entertain me and stuff. So um, obviously, first up is my phone. I love my phones, as everyone knows. At the moment, I'm using the Galaxy S5. Um, I know it changes every video, but I swapped it for something else. Uh, what else have we got? So, my juggling balls. When I was at uni, my friend was really into his juggling stuff, and he was this kind of a circus act. He was one of these guys that, you know, he'll start something, and he'll just kind of master it, and well, he just do it until he masters it. And, um, <laughs> it took me absolutely months just to get the basic cascade. Um, ah, just to get the basic cascade. Um, he laughed at a lot. But I still do it now and then. I've got the other ball downstairs, I think. So, I also forgot. When me and the same friend went to Scotland uh, for his sister's wedding, uh, I got a paperweight of my last name and the clan. So that's the Tartan. And um, yeah, the toot pet means quite ready is my family motto apparently, which I quite like, <laughs> um, and it is a half naked mermaid, which I wanted to tattoo of, but my wife objected. What else we got? Oh, yes. Back scratcher! I love this thing. I bought this uh, on my honeymoon actually, this little shop, but it's for a bit of fun. And um, I actually use it quite a lot. It's quite nice. I used this in the uh, scratching the hitler video. I'm just gonna check on the quality and see if this is still going. Good, good, good. It's still going. It's the battery, so we got 16 minutes. This may not be a very long video. Next is it's a game called Enduro Racer for the Master System which was a early Sega, it was my very first console. And uh, this was a, a game my me and my cousin had. It was basically just a mountain bike game. And uh, it was so much fun, we spent so many friggin' hours on it. And to be honest, I'd completely forgotten about it until uh, Christmas, my cousin sent me a, don't worry often, but sent me, the, <laughs> sent me this through the post. And I absolutely loved it. But it comes with a poster. Like a original poster advertising the games and like everything. So what have we got there, you know? Spellcaster, sports games. This is like this is before the FIFA game, so World Cup Italia 90. Castle of Illusion, Super Olympics. It was so good. So I still got that. Uh, sorry, you can probably hear the Chavi family arguing in the background. Next, we have my two hard drives. One of these contains all my movies, all my videos that I make, all my hard footage. 
and a lot of other stuff, TV shows. This one contains all my adult content movies. Judge me we wish. Uh, next up, I, I like I like getting characters, my favourite characters and figures from video games. I had quite a few, but I lost a lot of them over the years. And I've got a pink Spartan from Halo 3, because in the Halo games, I'm pink. And uh, <laughs> I, um, I absolutely love it. Um, I like to be pink and stuff because you get a lot of people that try to camouflage it and I die a lot in these games so I thought I might as well stand out. And here I have some miniature versions <laughs> of the same one. <laughs> uh, I have Tifa. Tifa was always my favourite character from Final Fantasy VII. As you know, I've got the tattoo, which is another video I'm working on. I've got the photos taken for that. So that's cool. And um, I bought this a few years ago, and um, my wife still doesn't like it. But that was my video game crush as a child. As a child, I was 14 and horny, you know. <laughs> I have a torch that looks like a grenade. So we called it Grenade Torch. Oh, it does still work. I think it's been used in a video or two. But, um, I went camping 2007. And that's the last time I used it properly. <laughs> we have some small ponies. I don't have many of these left. I gave most of them away to um, my friend's daughter. But I kept a few that I still like. The rarity and the, well the rarer ones, these are the glow in the dark ones. I have a ring. I'd like to get me a like it down on my knees and I will be your father. <laughs> uh, I picked this up at a sci-fi convention. Which made me laugh. engagement ring. My wife wanted us both to have one. It's just, is it tungsten or something? It's, but when you compare it, compare it in size to my wedding ring. And um, there's quite a bit of difference. But both cheap, <laughs> to be honest. wanted one of these as a kid and then when they gave the models for the for the starter collectible models I got one free and I got about three of them for some reason because I stopped and started collecting it for a while but um yeah it's cool I love it I've got some things my wife made this at scout camp she's a scout leader and uh, apparently they make things so sweatshops and stuff. The very texture of that that makes me cringe. But apparently it's good. The necklace my mother bought me for Christmas one year. Although when I wear it, I kind of like a fuck. I like it when I wear it sometimes, but it's just a bit heavy for me. I'm not really a too much of a jeweler. watch here that my friend bought me for my wedding. And, um, it's cool. This is have a brilliant day on my wedding. We love you from my best mate Lacey. Which is quite nice. And, um, it still works. Oh, 
first the right time is 25 past 6, which is why you can hear the cars. Sorry if this seems rushed, but I am. Um, Medal. I went through a phase where I was obsessed with the USSR. And uh, my friend brought me back when he went to Lithuania, I think. It's obviously not a real one. Um, I love it all the same. I have a Obama. Yes, we can be. Uh, I found this in Scotland and basically in this. Oh, I was all scratched. In this, I keep all my. Thing for Buddhas, I really like Buddhas. Mainly because I used to look like one. <laughs> and I've got like a big one that sat over the bed, over the my bedroom. And looks after my wife and I know. And I've got these little ones. But it's got to be the fat smiling Buddha, because that's the one that reminds me. Uh, what else? I've got a heart shaped soapstone that my wife brought back from Africa when she went there. I think we've been together for about three weeks then, so. These are small ones back then. Not nothing for the screen. And uh, I want to get the original footage up. But I've got to re-edit it because a lot of my friends don't want to be in it now. Because you know they're all in careers and stuff. So this is the kind of shit we did would get them in trouble. Look at the size of that. But it all uses fire. Nearly 20 years ago, I think. I've had it that long. Um, he was a good man, my granddad. He died a long time ago. But, um, so my sister got one as well. I think she still got his. I'm not really one for keeping things in our family, but um, yeah, I've still got that. Next up is a book called The Hagicure. Or Hagicure, or something like that. It was a samurai. really influenced my life. I definitely recommend it to give them a read. This is the um it means pin beneath the leaves and that's the um the influence of my tattoo, my sleeve. And uh, it was in a really dark period. I was breaking up with a long time ago for 18, lost, wasn't sure what I was doing with my life because I'd finished college. And uh, my friend showed me the last samurai movie which made me look into it. I bought this and I kind of people refer to a Bible and I kind of refer to this now and then. It's definitely a good read and it's very sexist. I've got some Russian coins. And I have this which contains all my pictures, all my photos, all my documents and stuff, you know. Uh, all my unfinished books. I went through a period when I did some writing which I'll make available if people want to read it because it's it's awful, it's pseudo-philosophy. And I read back in it and I go, oh man, what the hell I did, you know? Might do a video of that. Much like those haikus I did, so, yeah. And, uh, oh, this. You might often, oh my god. Oh, I forgot time to go grab it. No. Okay, I'll share another time. I've often got a German bombardier. sound quality there yeah, this is pretty good and uh, leave comments and subscribe and all that stuff yada 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 i'll be back soon goodbye